I would have appreciated him directing a lot of that to people like the guy, the governor of Florida, you know, to uh, Demi Nunez, to instill in them that this is really no joke because there are still people and still people who would benefit from hearing it from him. I would like him to direct that tone to those people, you know? And also, you know, there, this is unlike anything we've ever faced, and it could go beyond uh, the summer, you know, where we're trying to figure out how to navigate all of this. But I suspect that the more people start to understand that if we all don't do it, if we don't all participate in trying to, you know, not go out, not hang out at the park, not do these things, that this is the way we're going to get rid of this thing. We all have to do it. It can't be, you know, half behind to do it. Now, and now that he's moved the goalposts back in to at least the end of April, has it made you rethink uh, what the next month is going to look like? I mean, I feel like people have been doing that anyway, and you just talked about that, Sarah. Yeah, I think um, that that part that looks a little more hopeful for me is that spring is arriving. Like today, here in New York, we've had some off and on rough weather, and honestly, just seeing the sun outside and knowing that also will benefit with the virus, they say with heat and the warmer temperatures, uh, that can only help us. But also just in morale, when I look out, spring is the symbol of rebirth and the cycles of life. And so to look out and just hear the birds and feel the fresh air, even if you open a window, um, that small little bit was has, is also very helpful on our end. Right. I, a, a second ago, I mentioned the governor of Florida and uh, uh, Senator Nunez. They're two separate things. The, the, the senator is from California, and he is one of those people who have sort of given you the impression that there's not much going on, as has the governor of Florida, in my opinion.